<coughs> Whoa. What are you guys doing in there? <laughs> are you ready to start the vlog without me? You guys are silly. Well, if you guys want to start the vlog so early, that's cool. Oh, I got some exciting news that you guys would like. So, as you guys know, I'm in Colorado, right? I'm in Colorado. You know, I guess I might stay here for a while. And, uh, <coughs> so basically, I spent a day a couple weeks ago. I spent a day filling out applications and stuff like that. You know, get some income coming in, you know? And, uh, you know, I will be helping my dad out. Dad out and stuff like that. So I was looking for more of like a part-time job, you know? Kind of looking for that type of thing. So, just got an email when I woke up this morning. Um, you guys remember a long time ago when I used to work in that one office I made some videos in and stuff? I don't know if you guys remember that, but... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyways, I uh, applied to basically that the sister building of that building in this town. And uh, they called me and they want me to come in, or they emailed me and they want me to come in for an interview next week. So it's perfect because I'm the only one, I think, <clears throat> that has worked for the town out of all these other applicants, you know. I'm young and uh, good looking, you know, you know what I'm saying, muscular. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's basically, it's a manager on duty position, um, an event supervisor. So basically I'll be the boss of like 20 people. It'll be awesome. And they're like all older than me. So it's pretty sweet. <laughs> I... That might mean I need to shave the pliants. <gasps> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to shave it. I'll just find a way to style it somehow. Anyways, uh, my dad just got home from the mountains, and today we're going to work on the El Camino. <coughs> Here is some 14-gauge wire that I picked up. Uh, I'm going to put the new ground cables on the El Camino. That's what I think it is. I really don't know anything else, but I think it's the ground cables. So <coughs> It's not that difficult. You know, so, uh, excuse me. I'm really stuffed up today. Anyways, uh, let's see here. So we're going to go do that. Um, I'm going to take a dip, go out there. Just, my dad brought home some Mick Dicks. We ate some of that. And, uh, so anyways, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be working on the Camino and uh, doing stuff like that. Anyways, let's start the day. Oh, check this out. Sons of a bitch, uh. Powercraft 230 welder. Look at that. Just a gorgeous machine right there. Freaking dad just got a welder. Oh, it looks like a little duct tape antler right there. Pretty sweet. Any of you guys like welding? I like welding. I learned how to weld in Alaska. <clears throat> I already knew how to spot weld, but this is, you know, like real welding. Pretty sweet. We got it started. We're gonna let it run for a minute. And then we're gonna try to start it again. I replaced the ground cable. Oh, it's chooching. Paste the ground cable on it and it, uh, uh then it freaking starts right away. Plus, the old ground cable, I, I found where it was on the frame and it was, uh, and it was loose as a goose, so I tightened it up real well with two washers. It only had one washer on it, and the thing was rusted on, so we got to fix it, and we'll see what, what happens when we turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, baby. All right. Turn it off. All right. Please let it start again. Yes! Dog. You want to take it for a ride? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's clean up our stuff. Let's take it for a ride, baby! Take it for a spin. <sighs> what do you say, Dad? Kick ass! <laughs> Finally. Finally. And all along, it was just the ground cable. We knew it was not, it couldn't have been that. 
couldn't have been that, uh... Ooh, yeet. It couldn't have been that, um... It wasn't a complicated car, so it couldn't have been that complicated. And I just traced the ground wire back and we tightened it up with another washer and it was good. As you can see, we're walking. The car died when we were driving it around the neighborhood. So now we're walking back home and seeing if we can get the truck and jump it. But it's probably one of the battery terminals that we have is loose and we can't get it tight because we think it's stripped. So. See what happens. That's on. You think you got it? Ace mechanic. How do we fix our cars? Hillbilly style. <laughs> <laughs> it's not starting? No. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we got helium, baby. Hey guys, how's it going? The outlaw. <laughs> Keep it freaking hillbilly! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it freaking hillbilly! <laughs> you do. <laughs> and no mercy, six nine six! <laughs> Show no mercy for your friggin' lip, but baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't I whatever oh. it is that helium does, it's uh. freaking hilarious. <laughs> Look how many balloons we popped. <laughs> Did you hear what your mom said? What? She goes, quit sucking on my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, so what are we going to see? We're going to see... What are we going to see? Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. The Three Musketeers. Dude, we should buy Three Musketeers candy and watch it while watching, and eat it while watching Three Musketeers. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Should be a good idea. Yeah, good plan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're heading to the movie. I know it's dark and you're not going to be able to see, but we're going to try to film it anyway and see what happens. We're going down this hill and it's a huge bump. And uh, it's even better on the way up, but we're going to try going down too. So, you want to try going down? Yeah, I'm going to try. All right, so we're going down. We're on 50 right now. And 70, here we go. Oh, shit. That was actually pretty good. Not bad. All right, now we're gonna try going up. It's better going up, definitely. We could probably hit a bell, I don't know. You could probably hit. In his car, what did we get to, 100? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't as great because we're in his truck now and it's got a lot better suspension. suspension. So, we're gonna try going up. Looks like we're, every time I see those yuccas and stuff, it looks like we're in like the desert. Burnout. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, shit. Can't see. Uh, all the dust from us coming back. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 80. Oh, shit. Oh, oh 
Oh, oh shit! God damn! Damn! You can hear your suspension go. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh! Oh. We're we are going about 87, I think. Yeah. Sheesh! I didn't go that far up the hill going. Wow! Uh, took me a minute to get going because I couldn't freaking see. Beautiful. Upgrades. Ten dollar reward. In the movie. Me with my hot date. Collect memories. Get rewards. Let him be away. It's okay. Oh, it's getting dark. Goodbye. Yo, what's up? So I'm sitting here in the uh, truck after the movie. Three Musketeers. Dan's taking his girlfriend back to the car. Uh, <laughs> hey, Liz, if you're watching this, I know you watch the vlogs. <laughs> Not stupid. Anyways, uh, I know you can barely see me. Three Musketeers. Pretty good movie. And it looks like there's going to be a sequel. I think uh, at the end of the movie, you know, Orlando Bloom is sitting there. I'm not going to say any spoilers, but it looks like there'll be a sequel. It was pretty good. Didn't it get very good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes? It got like a 20%, but I thought it was pretty good. I think it's going to turn out like the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean series. It's not as good as Pirates of the Caribbean, um, but it was, it was all right. I liked it. Um, pretty cool storyline, all that kind of crap. Anyways, uh, let's see here. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the El Camino. So you seen it started and all that crap, and then it freaking, um, it, uh, um, the, uh, there's people looking at me. Yellow. Anyways, uh, there is, the El Camino started, and we were driving down the road, and it, and it stopped, and then, uh, it just died. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, it started a couple times. Like, we turn it off and turn it back on, you know, whatever. And um, just see if it was anything in that. And then I went I went under the hood, and I was uh, messing with the battery cable. And the battery cable was stuck and, like, melting to the header on the El Camino. I was like, what the fuck? And I was, like, shaking it to get it off. And it goes, and then the car tries to start. Like, the car, like it's like, and I'm like, the key is not in it. Nothing is in the ignition. Doors were closed, everything. It was still hooked to the battery, but it started to start by itself. And I'm like, what the hell? And my dad and I are like, what the fuck is going on? And I try to go take the battery terminal off, and it's the screw on ones with the actual screw. And it starts shocking me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And we can't figure out. And then I go under the car, and I'm trying, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. And I'm like trying to hit the starter or something. And I'm and I'm uh, trying to get it unloosed. But then finally, I pull the battery cable like up. And uh, and it stopped for some reason, right? So I'm like, okay, all right. Try to unhook the battery cable. My dad unhooked it. And then when you saw me underneath the car, I was, uh, I looked under there, and the positive and the negative were like, barely touching each other after that little melting incident and that so the starter was engaged or whatever but after i moved it then it was, it's been doing the same shit it's always been doing it hasn't been doing nothing it's just been clicking so um <laughs> we're just done dealing with it we don't know we towed it back home and uh you know we thought we had it with the freaking um ground cable you know we it was loose and uh, I tightened it back up. We thought we had it with that, but I don't know. Maybe it has a short in it somewhere or something. So we got the mechanic. Uh, my dad's friend is a mechanic, and uh, he's going to come over. You know, I know basic shit, but I, uh, you know, I don't freaking know. It's past, way past me. So uh, so he, uh, so David, the mechanic guy, is going to probably come over tomorrow or Sunday and uh, freaking try to figure it out. But I'll let you guys know what happens. Anyways, I know that was kind of long. I'm sorry. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I hope it was a little longer and uh, you guys liked it rather than a small little uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's a little cold here in Kyle freaking Rata. But, uh, yeah, so tomorrow I have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm sure we'll find out. So, until tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Sad damn it. Oh, say, <laughs> saying that, I, I know you guys, a lot, a lot of people like that. What if you guys should make a, or some of you guys should make a freaking collage of every video I say, Sad damn bitch, uh, and you should just freaking make a collage and, and, and put music behind it or something. That'd be funny. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Sad damn bitch. Uh.